You know, Joanna, I've just, I've been thinking, and you know, everything's kind of going right for the church right now. Yeah. We're, we're growing. Yeah. People are really getting God's message. That, that guy, Paul, he's got a lot to say. He does. He's got some deep stuff to say. <laughs> but I just, I feel like something's still missing. Missing? What do you mean? The spirit moves in our services and people are well, coming well, into the church every day? I'm not necessarily there. I just, I feel like there's something missing in me. Huh. I just, I can't figure out what it is. Hmm. I wonder. Hmm. Well, have you prayed about it? I, I have. A, a lot, actually. I just, it's just not coming yet. I don't know. No answer yet? No. Hmm. Odd. <laughs> <laughs> <Not really. clears throat> well? Hey! Well, somebody told me the other day you were sharing the gospel with a Roman guard? Yeah. Uh, he was, uh, well, basically what happened was I was sharing at uh, this meeting of a bunch of different Christians, yeah. and um, this <clears throat> Roman guard came to break it up, and I thought what he really needed, maybe was to just hear right. what what we were saying. And maybe he would, yeah. Maybe he was angry, but right. really he wanted the Lord. And he listened and left, so I don't know. Actually, there he is now. Oh, hey. Hey, John, Joanna. Yeah. So I thought about what you said um, oh, all awesome. that time ago. Um, are, are you ready to accept Jesus as your life? I thought about it. That's um, not what I asked. So, <laughs> so... I thought about it, and um, I came to the conclusion that I should talk to my Roman superiors. We decided that um, this stuff about God being a lamb and laying down his life for others was contrary to Roman belief. And us Romans, we believe in power and might and oppression. And so um, we decided that your gospel is dangerous, not good, therefore... We are sending you to the island of Patmos. What? Yep, we're sending you to the island of Patmos. This, this is great. <laughs> he said this would happen. I, I get to suffer for Jesus? That's true. Yeah, this is good news. Thank you so much. <laughs> <laughs> we'll see what you think once you're there. <laughs> boy, can't wait. Have fun in Patmos, John. Bye, Joanna. Bye. Oh, boy, I can't wait to go to Patmos. <laughs> It's right here. Oh, wow. <laughs> I stripped you of your staff. Okay, fire on the yard. Wow, look at this place. All the green and the piano. And all this, wow, I love it here, but it's it's really hot. But nope, look. Look at the um, rocks over here. And um, um, wow, there's water. And I just, it's bugs. And no, no, nope, no, nope, this is amazing. I get to suffer for Jesus alone. By myself. <laughs> Hello? Well, this is boring. I don't... Hmm. This didn't seem as fun as I thought. Here I sit, sad and blue. All I can say is boo, hoo, hoo. Poor, poor me, sad and blue. Jesus, I'm too sad to even think about you. Can't you see how sad and lonely my life is here on Patmos? I'm in time out, so I will pout, cause what else can I do? Won't you come, most holy sun, and make my gray skies blue? <sighs> here I sit. Sad and blue, all I can say is boo, hoo, hoo. Poor, poor me, sad and blue. Jesus, I'm too sad to even think about you. I didn't think it would be so hard suffering for Jesus. I mean, I do love him, and I know he's here for me, but it doesn't feel like it, and I'm... He sent me here onto this terrible island by myself, and I just, all I've been doing is serving him. Why am I in this terrible situation? It's, it's not fair. I just, I don't want to be here. Here I sit, all alone, by myself, 
Here I sit alone by myself. No one knows just how bad I feel. No one knows how alone I feel here on the Isle of Patmos. You are not, you are not alone. You are not, you are not alone. There are others who are suffering, people just like you. You've got brothers and sisters feeling like you do. You should turn away from yourself. Ask the Lord today. Look in his eyes. He's in your heart. He's in you. Is, is that you, Holy Spirit? Yes, John. And I'm here to take you on a great adventure, the adventure of your life that will fill your heart. And it will be everything to you. But I can't take you on that adventure if you're turned towards yourself and pouting instead of towards Jesus. You want to know him in a brand new way, right? That, you can't be looking at you for that to happen. Wait, 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 wait. Time out. Back, back up, back up. <laughs> A whole new way? Yeah. I'm, I was one of Jesus' disciples. I followed him for years. I saw him die on the cross. I, I've been serving him this whole time. Are you telling me there's a way I still don't know him yet? <laughs> <laughs> well, then what am I doing here? Let's go. Let's get off this island. I, I want to go on this adventure. I want to know him in a new way. Okay, John. You have a lot to learn. <laughs> Wait, what? <clears throat> well, that was interesting, wasn't it? <laughs> it seems like John hasn't realized that this kind of turning isn't the kind of turning he needs to do. No. It's this kind of turning. <laughs> All the way around toward Jesus. Let us see if we can figure that out. <laughs> Bugs. You know, when the Holy Spirit came and told me that there was this great adventure to know Jesus in a whole new way, I kind of thought I was getting off this island, out of this terrible situation. But nope, still here, still stuck on this island, in, this, in the heat. That's just... I just don't get it. Why am I here? I, I've done everything he's asked, and I'm still in this... Ugh. I don't get it. Hi. Hi. Oh, I'm Mick Schmoogle, and these, these are me, boys. We're so very easily annoyed. We just can't love Jesus here on Padmos. Hey, John. Hey. I don't know if you've noticed, but this place is a total garbage can. A total garbage can? <laughs> I need to be rescued from this nightmare. Nightmare? <laughs> Every day, I pray. Deliver me, oh God! Save me from this unfair torture! <laughs> Take me home so I can be happy again! <laughs> Jesus, you know? I used to preach and share about Jesus 
all day long. Yeah. And this, this is how he repays me. What? I thought God had power to raise the dead and heal the sick. And he can't deliver me out of this mess? This mess? What <laughs> kind of God would allow me to suffer like this? Yeah. yeah. Now all I do is feel sorry for myself. And now every day I grow to trust God less. I'm and less. <laughs> I'm so sorry, Mishmu. Well, how, how long have you been here? At least two weeks. <laughs> anyway, I have some more pouting to do. I'll see you all later when I'm still stuck on Patmos! <laughs> <laughs> hey, John. Oh, hey, Simon. Yeah. Uh, I'm, I'm kind of confused right now. I heard you talking to Mick Schmoogle over there. Yeah, uh, what he was saying, he was, he was talking about, you know, how, how can a kind God keep me in these terrible, put me in these terrible situations? Like, I just, I don't under. It made me think. It's it's just really challenging everything that I thought I understood about God. It is a challenging question. Um, but I think um, my friend Hartman, the puppet, can come and explain it to you. Hello, Hartman. Hi. Did I hear someone call my name Hartman, the puppet? <laughs> hey, I'm more than a puppet. I'm a heart. I'm a heart that can turn, turn, turn all the way to the cross, to the crucified Christ, who's inside of me. Yeah, but guess what? I had to learn about turning. Did you know that, John? I didn't know that. Yes, it's true. I went through some really hard things. I did, and it was hard because the rib cage wasn't there. It was just me, the old heart, beat, 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 beating all over the place. Jesus, these things are hitting me so deep. People are hurting me. Things aren't fair. I feel alone. I feel forgotten. Oh, but my heart turned all the way towards me, kind of like you on Patmos. Oh, hoo, 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 hoo. Boo, hoo, hoo. Thinking about me. Poor, poor me. Ooh, 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 ooh. I got so low. Ooh, ooh, ooh. And I looked up. Oh, the foot of the cross. I forgot about Jesus, the crucified. I forgot about what he went through. I forgot about his nature, his nail-scarred feet, what he suffered, his broken heart on Calvary for all the enemies in the sin of the world. Oh, I started thinking about him and what he bore. And then he's inside of me, and I forgot all about him and his heart, his broken, crucified lamb heart. And I started thinking about my old selfish heart. And I felt beat, 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 beat. I felt the heart of the Lamb beating in me. And I turned, turned, turned away from me and let my heart be a place for his life and suffering instead of me. So I need to turn away from myself? But, yes. but I, I did that yesterday. <laughs> you need to do it <laughs> all the way? No. You know... Little cardiovascular man has a point. <laughs> you need to do it all the way. All the way? Yes. <gasps> all the way. Um, I think me and Brother Enoch here have a song we want to do for you. Choreographed, too. A little rusty. So. We've been here a while. <laughs> <laughs> turn, 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 turn. Turn all the way. Turn, 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 turn all the way. It's not enough just to hear. It's not enough just to know something I want to see. Your face with my whole heart. I turn away from myself. I forget all about me. I only want to know Jesus 
lost in its true beauty. So I turn, turn, turn all the way, all the way. You guys are right. I've been turning a little bit, but then I think about my bad situation and on and how I feel and just like that, I'm back on pouty Patmos. I am making a decision right now. I am going to turn all the way. Tubular. <laughs> hey, I think the Holy Spirit is here with some gifts here. Oh, oh well, we're going to go ahead and head out. I love you, Brother John. Okay, Brother, <laughs> you didn't say your name. I love you, Simon. I love you, Brother Enoch. Brother Enoch. Sweet news today. <laughs> Hey, bye, John. bye everyone. Hey, John. Oh, hi. The Holy Spirit's on her way with your special gifts. Okay. Now, you've probably heard of the gifts of the Spirit before, right? Yes, I have. This is a little different. <laughs> John! Oh, hi, Holy Spirit. John, I see that you've turned your heart all the way towards Jesus. I have. Okay, we've got some gifts for you. Awesome. First one is these glasses. Cool. But why are there crosses on them? <laughs> John, you have to see through Jesus' eyes. He's the one that died on the cross. His view is completely different from ours. You have to take his view. Whoa. These are amazing. The, these are going to change everything. <laughs> they will change everything. Most importantly, they're going to change how you read your treasure map, John. <laughs> the Bible? Yeah! The Bible is your treasure map to knowing Jesus in a whole new way. Wow! The Holy Spirit is the last gift, John. Me! You? Really? Yeah! My favorite thing to do is to lead people, lead those who love Jesus with all their hearts, into this great adventure that's going to fill them, that's going to change them, that's going to be their whole life to know Jesus in a brand new way. Well, I think I'm ready to go. Let's go then. Now my heart is turned from me towards you. I am no longer sad and blue. The Spirit's here giving me new eyes. So I'm looking through them to discover the real Christ. <laughs> I'm on an adventure on this treasure island. I'm searching for Jesus and I am going to find him. The guide is the spirit and my heart will follow. Each step is an adventure today and tomorrow. Afraid, John. You're not beginning to not only hear me, but to see my, me like you've never seen me before. This adventure of seeing me in this new way isn't only for you. It's for every person who has me living in them. Therefore, I want you to write letters to my churches, John. They're having a hard time just like you. They're all going through hard things, and I want them to know that I see those hard things. I care, and I am with them. I want them to see me in this brand new way in the middle of their hard times. I'm going to tell you through the Holy Spirit what to say to them. Are you ready to write? Uh, yes, I am.
Send them to Patmos, <coughs> Patmos Post. Let's send them. got a letter from John on Patmos. The things have gotten a lot worse since he went to Patmos. But he says the Lord, the Lord gave him this letter for us. He wants, he wants us to know him. Jesus, he wants us to know him as the Lamb of God. And I thought I did know him as the Lamb of God, but, but for me, like he died for my sins, but this says he wants to be in me. He wants to be my life, and I guess I knew that, but I, not like this. He wants, he wants to be the one who died for his enemies, who laid down his life in love, who forgave from hanging on the cross, and he wants to be like that in me. And that sounded great until everything started going wrong. People are persecuting us. They want us dead. They, this is bad. And I really want Jesus in this way, but I just don't know if I can do this. There is a way. There's a way for Jesus to be your life. I know you read it. You read it in, in the letter from the heart of Jesus. But there is something that I can do as the Holy Spirit, and it's going to be to write this letter, this word, this heart of Jesus into your very heart. It's going to be written into you. It's going to be part of who you are. It's going to define your every motive and your every bit of your very being. Please, Just Jesus. ask the Lord to write his word, his living word, the word that was from before the foundation of the earth, the slain lamb, into your heart. Just ask him. He'll do it. He'll do it. Thank you. Thank you. Write it in me. Write it in me, make my heart your living scroll. Write it in me, write it in me, make my heart your living scroll. I want your Written 
in my heart. Jesus, I want your heart to be in me. You know, I don't think I really understood at first. I, as I've been writing these letters, it's finally dawned on me that I'm not the only one feeling this way. There are people all over who are suffering and feeling alone and just in turmoil inside of themselves and they just don't get it. They just don't get that the reason that they're there is so that God can come out in those times. So that He can be your life. Amen. So in this time, I, I'm praying for those people. I'm praying for my brothers and sisters who are feeling alone and lost. That they understand that God wants to be their life in these times. Yes. When you said you were my brother, when I read that letter and you said you were my brother in tribulation, I cannot tell you how deeply that affected all of us in Pergamos. You know, we thought you were some great man of God who was so much more holy than we were and we could never attain to knowing Jesus the way that you knew him because you walked with him for 12 years and you, you heard him speak and you saw him and you... You laid on his bosom. And we got that letter as we were being persecuted. And we felt, is this Jesus real? Why, why isn't he delivering us? Where's the miracles? Where's the power? And we got this letter that you hand wrote. And you said, I am your brother in tribulation. And you started telling us that the true gospel had to do with the Lamb of God being revealed in us. And in our hard times, showing forth his beautiful, selfless, giving, sacrificial nature. Our hearts broke open with hope. We couldn't believe what we were hearing. That the real Jesus, the real Jesus, the one you knew, is a lamb. And in our afflictions, we can know him greater than we've ever known him before, John. Thank you from all of us. Thank you for... Not just writing, but pressing you to know the lamb in your afflictions, just like we are. Thank you. Thank you. Do you want to pray with me for these people? Over at prayer piano. Right over there? Yep. Let's go. Three months earlier. Yeah. <laughs> 
I'm pretty awesome. Yes, sir. The best. I'm the coolest king in the land. Oh, yeah. So, uh, I've been really enjoying my power, but there's these, uh, this group of people called these Christians, okay? They love this guy called Jesus. Total weirdo, okay? Um, so what he did, what he did was he died on a cross. And that was his greatest act of his way. I don't know. I don't know. I'm not one of them. Um, so it's super, it's super weird. It's really annoying because basically they're exalting something that was low and stupid and, and looked foolish. And I don't like that because I'm a king. It's really annoying, okay? Um, yeah, it's so super annoying. Absolutely annoying. So I'm bringing one in here today to talk to and help redirect this Christian Yes. We Re redirect them. Yes. So where is the oh. Christian? Get her. There you go. Dropped your whistle. Here's the royal whistle. Here's that pesky Christian. Don't damage the floor. <laughs> okay, so uh, you are. Uh, you are. You are the blessing. King awesome. You yes. are so awesome. You are the blessing in my life. I have known the love of God in a way I never dreamed. Thank okay. you so much for giving me this opportunity to experience my King. I experienced my King because of what right. you've given me okay. to know. In this imprisonment, I have found His love. I am awesome. I have to say. But, but, um, this whole Jesus thing is really annoying. You see, um, it is best that you seek power, and um, everyone else is supposed to recognize me so as kind of power. like... It's a crucified lamb. It's the power in his weakness. No, no. Save the world. No, you see... Okay, look, look. I do see, I see Jesus, I see him, I feel him. The lamb is my light. No, 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 look, look, okay? Power is something you work for. It's not something you, sur you don't, power doesn't look like a cross, okay? It looks like a lamb on the cross giving himself fully in love. Oh my. beautiful thing I've ever seen. <laughs> no! Oh, that you could see him, I would die a thousand deaths, Lord Jesus. Let him know. Thank no, you. look, oh. look at, okay, look, you're you're making a fool of yourself. I don't think you you seriously realize it. You are making an absolute fool of yourself. Okay? No, no, okay, okay, okay. All right, all right. Okay, so um, normally what I do to help people is I help them work on their you theme song. <laughs> Okay. May the Lord bless you with everlasting life. All right, so we're going to work on your theme song. I have, a theme I have an amazing theme song. I have an amazing theme song, too. Well, that's wonderful. Sweet. You play it, I'll critique it. Yeah. <laughs> I would love to do that. Go ahead. The song in my heart, it comes from the Lamb. It comes from the Lamb, I love. The song in my heart, it comes from the Lamb. I sing it every moment of every day. He sings it in me every moment. All right, okay, a little pitchy. <laughs> <laughs> but the big thing, the big thing that's your problem, I see, is your theme song is supposed to be your theme song. It, you've made, you, you, this is a song about Jesus, but is it supposed to be about you? Yes. So, um, let me sing you a little bit of mine, give an example. I am so awesome, everybody loves me. This sing. song in my heart, no. it's all no. about the Lamb. No, I cannot get enough of myself. He loves to pour out selflessly. Oh. I am so awesome. The song in my heart he sang. Ah, everybody laughs me. He sang a great 
cannot get enough of my The Lamb of God is true king, and he is going to reach you, King Austin. Okay, He's okay. He's going to reach you. Look, look. Thank you, ah. Jesus. Okay. I can't stand this guard. She's going to be banished to the island of Patmos. I can't deal with this any longer, so you have to take her because of her ridiculous, ri ridiculousness. I'm sorry, sir, but I cannot do that. And why is that? Because I've been hiding this from you for years, but... You have hair? <laughs> oh, that's even worse! And I love Jesus, but I've been too afraid to say it because I was afraid of pain and afraid of torture. But now I realize all those things are things of the earth and that Christ is the true life. Thank you for sharing the song of the Lamb. And if you, you want to banish her to Patmos, you'll have to banish me too. You're banished too! You're banished too! Praise the Lord, brother! My throne first. No, it's supposed to be taken off set. You know, guys, there's there's something new. <clears throat> Excuse me. There's something new rising in me, in in my heart. <coughs> what do you mean? <coughs> well, it's like this <clears throat> this burning desire to to love my enemies, to pray for those who have wronged me. You know, I was there the day Jesus died on the cross. He I saw he was he was up there and but while he was up on that cross, he he had every right to be angry. He it wasn't fair for him to be there at all. He but he wasn't angry, he wasn't cursing anybody, he was just praying for everybody that was torturing and just doing terrible things to him. I, there was one Roman guard there that saw that that day. He saw the Lamb of God in a real way. Sometimes I wish I could have just been there, me and all my friends and, and Pergamos, then maybe it'd be a little clearer, you know, what, what it is that this is all about. Simon, when, when your friends and, and the people around you, they can see Jesus giving his life, just like he did on the cross, they can see him in you. They, because he lives in you. So when they look at you, they can, they can see him, the one that was on the cross, in you. Yes. 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 Simon, that's, that's the same Jesus that John saw, but, but now it's time for people to see him, that Lamb of God in us, to really, really know him and see him through our attitudes and reactions, through his nature coming out of us in real ways. It's true. And, you know, in, like in my uh, flesh, I never want to forgive someone or anything like that. In uh, Pergamos, um, the church there, which is where I'm from, is um, they, uh, they're kind of all over the place. They, some of the people adhere to the doctrines of Balaam and the Nicolaitans, and they, like, try, they try to force it on <coughs> them. And I wouldn't stand for it. So they persecuted me, like you know, my own church. Um, and like, you know, I'm, I'm still knowing the Lord, but it's in me there's this deep resentment for those people for what they've done and I know that's not the lamb I know it's not Simon this is the great adventure is you finding the lamb of God in your heart as your life being lifted up out of those circumstances and being able by him to forgive those people that were persecuting you even the ones that were close to you to forgive them to love them to pour out over them even while they're, they're nailing you to a cross. Mm. Simon, this is the adventure. This is the adventure. To know Jesus like this. You know, John, 
Maybe, maybe you should write down what the Lord is sharing with us and with you and the Holy Spirit sharing while we're here on Patmos. I, I feel like it would be good for other people to read. It's funny you should mention that, Joanna, because God, <clears throat> as I've been writing these letters and as I've been learning all of this, he has actually been having me write this book called Revelation. <laughs> He's been having me write it so that everyone knows that Jesus just wants to know them in this way and to be their life throughout everything. So I've been praying that everyone will know him in this way, and I've been writing this book to help with that. Hi, Jess. You know what, John? I pray that when people see these words, they don't see words, but now they see the word. Amen. And Amen. I pray that they see the Lamb within these scriptures. Amen. That they see Jesus. Amen. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Amen. 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 We may be stuck here on this island, but we're learning to know God in a whole new way. And so will everyone who reads this book called Revelation. The sun rises in me. The sun
somebody else too. Mm -hmm. <coughs> well, we've been having a great time in the Word, and they have um, displayed the spirit of our seeking and our desire to know the Lord. And um, um, we, as we said, we know Him <coughs> as Savior. Um, we know Him as Healer. We know Him as Deliverer. We know that He can do all of that. And all of that is pointed toward us. And we want our hearts pointed toward Him. Amen. And we are thankful for all those things. We do not look down on them. We look up to Jesus. And our heart, our heart melts over Him. And not just what His hands can do, but what flows from His heart into us of his life and of his spirit and um, these guys have worked hard and they've done uh, several of these in different countries and stuff like that and um, they they're uh, the interesting thing is is that uh, when they sometimes when they come to practice or come to do the, the show or whatever you want to call it they're going through stuff like they've been exiled in Patmos, or they've been hurt, or, or something's happened. And many of them, I mean, they're, they're young. And, and instead of just not showing up, not bringing the Lord, they partake of the very thing that they've been singing and yes. sharing about. They overcome. So this is way greater way greater than just the, you know a good presentation. Mm -hmm. It's got the, the living the living land yes. working in. Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm blessed by that. Mm -hmm. And um, mm -hmm. uh, I have a scripture from Ephesians to read to you. <coughs> it's from the New uh, Living Translation. And it says, Imitate God, therefore in everything you do, because you are his dear offspring. Live a life filled with love, following the example of Christ. That's one sentence. Live a life filled with love, following the example of Christ. He loved us by an offering. He sacrificed himself and his rights and his privileges as a burnt offering for us. But in so doing, was a pleasing aroma to God. And I just feel, I just feel that it would bless the Lord and it would bless these guys to be able to pray for you if somehow what they have been doing and what they did here today somehow touched your heart for a desire more of the Lamb of God formed in them, more of Him being there so that you can overcome life circumstances by the very life of the Lamb. Instead of having Him always have to deliver you, you can live with Him by Him. With Him by Him. So if there's anyone, maybe you'd like a little prayer along this line. I would like these guys to pray for you. Is that okay? And um, it would be a good thing. So come on up if you'd like some prayer.